Hi my family and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and be part of Didi family. But today I'm going to try a new brand here in Sweden. They just launched their first product in 2018 and I'm very excited to try some of their products. I just got them in the mail and I couldn't wait. Yesterday I did swatch uh, two lipsticks that I bought and the highlighter and I can say I had, had a very hard time to remove the lipsticks. I couldn't remove them with water so I think they are going to be long wearing. So if you're interested to hear more about this brand and see the products then please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm just on their website and they're called Prakt. I know how to pronounce that in English. I will put the name of the brand on the screen. But they're just, um, they're a new brand and they are cruelty free. They don't test their products on animals. And also I can't actually find the information uh, where they ship their products. So I hope they ship internationally. I don't know, but you can check it out. They are a very affordable brand, open 2018, and it's a business that really loves the makeup. They don't test their products on animals and are very against that, so they don't sell their products in the countries where you need to tr uh, test the products on the animals. So that's very good. They just opened, so they they are coming out with more products, and also soon they'll be they are coming out with some eyelashes and I will be very happy to try them out when they release those but they currently have let me see how many products they have one two three four five six no two four six eight ten eleven eleven matte lipsticks in eleven shades a lipstick in eleven shades and they have Liquid highlighters, I think three shades available, no four shades available on the website. And I'm going to put the information and the prices down below so you can check it out. Please go over to their website. I commented on one of the pictures of the on the Instagram. They're really, I'm looking forward to try the brand and do a video. And uh, the person that answered was so cute. It was very excited for me. Let, it did let me know that my package was sent. And the package arrived very fast, like two days and it was in my mailbox. Let's see, four different liquid highlighters and also four palettes. They have a glitter palette called Maniac that is um, out of stock. And the palette that I got is also out of stock, but probably will going to come in the stock soon. And they have two more different eyeshadow palettes. So four eyeshadow palettes or palettes so they will going they are going to release more products i can't wait to try them out i always want to support new brands and smaller brands because i think they deserve a chance to be seen and i think my platform is perfect for that so let's start and see the products i thought the packaging was stunning let me show you first the highlighter and the lipsticks i mean the shades I cho chose for lipsticks, I chose two lipsticks. The outside packaging looks like this. I don't know if you can see, it says the name of the brand. The shade, it's uh, champagne. Um, ingredients, this shade is called Skyline. So let me swatch them. Champagne, I think was my uh, favorite of two that I got. This is plastic packaging, but it's, it looks very cute, very sleek, very nice. Feels kind of uh, good in the hand also. Really love the packaging. And this is champagne. Very nice nude, a little bit deeper nude shade. Very matte and very, very hard to wash or remove. And this shade is called Skyline. I don't know which one I will put on later because I don't know how the makeup look is going to turn out. Skyline is this one. This is more with a pink undertone and more brown undertone, but very nice nude shades. Very, very nice. And the highlighter I got in, this is Custom Illuminator Drops. Shake well before use. This is in shade, oh my God, I think. Shade number one says here down. Ingredients. I did swatch it, have a picture on 
on my Instagram, but this is how the outside packaging and it's called Oh My God liquid highlighter. I think it's a little maybe too dark for me, I don't know, but let me swatch it for you. Uh, this one felt a little bit oily, so I'm, I did set my makeup, hopefully it won't move too much of my makeup around, so it's going to be a good test because I do like to apply liquid highlighter on top of my already finished makeup look, uh, also over the powder so I do like the cover effects drops but I do have to be fast working with those because they are not very oily or they dry down very very fast and these this one didn't really dry down very fast um, it felt a little bit oily so we'll see how that is going to work and also here the palette look at this stunning shade this is like rose gold my favorite shade it says cruelty free. This is a beautiful palette. Here is the ingredients. Palette comes out like this. Same thing. And look at. Yeah, well, <laughs> this one comes also. And a nice mirror. And here is the palette. So you have. Uh, looks like matte eyeshadows up here. These look more like more like shimmer eyeshadows. I think they look. And also glitters down here. I haven't swatched this. Uh, the only thing I kind of think is missing in here is the names of the eyeshadows. It doesn't have names on the back and it doesn't have names at all. And uh, I think Makeup Revolution does the same thing. And I kind of prefer that there is names. Look, I can't remove this. I can't can't remove this. I need to make up wipe so I can spot the palette. So like I said, I do not like that there is no names because I do prefer names. It makes my life easier when I do tutorials, but it is what it is. All that. It's so hard to remove and that's a good thing. I mean, it's a very good, not good thing if you're going to swatch them, but very good if you're going to wear them. I would definitely be going to wear it for a couple of hours to see how it's going to wear down, how it's going to look, look when it dries down. How it's going to feel on my lips. Uh, they are dry a little. They are dry right now. And I'm going to swatch this palette. So let's start with this upper road. They feel they feel soft. Oh, this one you can't really see. Oh, it swatches very nice. It swatches very, very nice. I like that. I don't believe in swatches. I think you do need to try the palette on the eye. So you can see if it's buildable. Right now, I feel like I'm doing this for the you guys that really like swatches. They are swatching very nice, not patchy. Looks like they are going to be easy to blend. Let's go, let's move to the row number two. Ooh, this one. Oh my god. These look beautiful. Really like this shade, these two. Smooth, very, very nice. Sorry guys. This black, uh, I need to go in in that one again. It's comes out more gray, but I kind of like it. This shade is beautiful. Oh wow. That is stunning. I don't know if you can see it guys. You will probably need a sticky base or maybe a glitter primer or glitter glue. Oh my god, but look. Definitely need some base to stick on, but oh my god. I think these three look 
to be my favorite of Noel. This pink one is also, but I really, really like this one. And this, it has like the first shade. This one is, sorry, this one is stunning. It has gold, green, blue, white. And this shade, the second shade has d deeper pigments also matches my nails the second shade looks like something i have on my nails today i really really like it this one is beautiful okay i'm excited i'm excited so let's zoom in and start the makeup look and see how these really perform the mirror in here is very nice i do really like it i'm going to go in i already primed my eyes with wet and wide eyeshadow primer and i did set it with some powder but i'm going to go in this shade and um, kind of uh, put it all over my eyelid, have a base. And take it all the way up to my eyebrows. I can't really see it on my eyes. And I'm very curious to see how this pink is going to go on the eye. So I'm going to put that all over my crease. Oh, that's nice. This is blending beautifully. This purple pink shade went on very easy. I'm going to take the same brush, I'm going to clean it, I'm going to dip into this shade next to it. Hmm. Can't see any fallout right now. But I see they come out very nice, they are buildable, so you this is a very good palette for a beginner. You have more control in how pigmented you want this to be. And I'm going to work it also a little bit lower. Okay, I'm going to go in with a smaller brush, SCO04, a pointy brush, and I want to go in this deep purple shade or not purple but more plummy shade um, there is a little bit of fallout they are a little bit powdery but i don't mind um do, you do need to build it up but they're building up very nice i like that and then i want to go and take a very smaller brush something like this and go into that i don't know gray black doesn't really look like black looks more like dark gray shade or green i don't know but it's a nice shade just can't figure out if it's gray or green in these lights oh wow I like how this shade blended. I'm going to blend everything later, I promise. But I do like how these shades blend to, into each other. But still you can see every shade. So I'm going to take a clean blending brush. Right now, very small, one of my favorites. It's Esco 03 and I'm going to blend everything. And I'm going to take the first shade that we had all over the eye. Uh, blend the edges a little bit. I really want to go into this dark plummy shade again. And work it in. Dip up the crease a little bit. Going back into this pinky shade and blend a little bit above. So I think you do need to take your time and build up the shades. I kind of feel like the um, this dark purple kind of disappeared a little bit here on the edge. I'm going to take that blending brush again and dip it up a little bit more down here. 
So I'm going to cut the crease. I'm going to take some concealer. I'm going to take my Esco 07 brush. So I took another brush that I cleaned. <laughs> I forgot that I used that brush. So I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to take this shade and work it on this side of the eye. It goes on very nice. We really like that. Let's see how it's going on with the brush on the other side. I'm taking this Esco 05. Oh, it's going nice with the brush too. So then I'm going to clean that brush and I'm going to go in um, this pink. This shade is stunning. So I'm going to go and take my finger, actually, without anything, and go into this pink glitter and try to apply that on the eye. So I'm that I do need a sticky base, so I'm going to try to take this with a um, clean the brush that I used for the eyeshadows and actually go in and wet it. Some glitter fallout. I could definitely leave this look without this glitter, but I do want to try it out. I think the glitter, the makeup look turned out very nice also without all the glitter, but always good to have some extra. I like being extra. And then you know what, guys? I do need to try this glitter out. So I'm going to clean the brush. I'm going to wet the brush and take uh, this and try to see that. Oh my god, this is stunning. Where were you during your review? Beautiful glitter. I love this, but I think I'm going to leave it like this because I do want to go down <laughs> on the lower lash line. We need to move on, but I really like like how this is turning out. We're going to blend everything together so it looks seamless and nice. I'm going to go back into this this shade here. I mean, I do would like, prefer if it had names. There is some fallout from the mats and the glitter, but doesn't bother me. It's not terrible. I'm going to clean that brush and actually I want to go in with uh, this shade just to blend everything on the under lower lash line. I do need a um, shade here, but I don't think I have anything that really goes there. So I'm going to go in this highlighter and see if that, shake it, if we can... Uh, Use it. Oh, wow, beautiful, but I think it's a little bit dark. So I'm going to top it with the highlighter. The best highlighter for that is Glaze Donut from Ofra. Oh yeah, you see? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put some eyeliner and I think I'm going to do something that I haven't done a long time. It put some dark black eyeliner under my in my waterline and put some mascara and eyelashes and I'll be right back. So guys, now I did use this, I did use Sosu eyelashes in Ego. It's a collab with Ka Kylie, Kylie. And I'm going to, I want to put this glitter just under the lower lash line. So I really like how this makeup turned out. I'm excited to try the highlight. Kind of scared that it's going to be dark. They had 
four different shades and I went with this one because it said it was light pink I think or pink so I'm going to apply a little bit on my hand and um, it feels kind of like I said in the beginning a little bit oily look at this shine it's stunning and I'm going to apply it with my finger guys this is so cute i feel maybe it's a little bit too dark for me let's try to build it up it's very easy to blend it looks it looks wet it has that nice shine wet shine it's not glittery uh, it's stunning shade but this doesn't remove my makeup and I did use a lot of powder. It doesn't move anything. It does blend so nice. Has like that nice wet look. I was scared that because it felt a little bit oily that it's going to move around my foundation. But it doesn't. I don't know. It feels like it's a little bit too dark. But what do you think, guys? Not like it when you look like this, but when I look straight, I don't know. Please let me know down below what you think. But I really like this shade. Oh, I wish I had that lighter so I can mix these two together, those two together. But I love it. This one is uh, easier to work with than cover effects, I have to be honest. Ooh, I'm in love, I'm in love. Please let me know down below what you think if it's, oh, no. <laughs> if it, let's see, it's so easy to blend. If it's too dark, I don't know. No, yes, no, no. Oh, I love that shine. I love it. Definitely going to purchase the lighter shade so I can play with that one too. But when I have money. But uh, last thing we're going to try is lipstick. This is something I'm very excited about. Let's see which one we're going to take this or this. Hmm. This or this? This one. Let's go into this one. Skyline. It smells nice. This feels like nothing on the lips. I love the applicator, perfect applicator, so easy to move around the lips, easy to make that nice straight line. You don't have to have a lip liner with this. Um, I feel a little bit sticky right now while it dries down. I feel like I need my lips on, not really, my lips are not even. So for me to make my lipstick look even, it's mission impossible. I like this color, it goes very well with the makeup looks. So guys, I'm done. I think this makeup look turned out beautifully. This lipstick, it dried down. I don't feel it on my lips. I'll see how it's going to wear in a couple of hours, if it's going to look very dry and if it's going to fleek and how it's going to wear off. Very interested in that, but I do like this shade a lot. It goes very well with the makeup look and the makeup look is so beautiful. So you definitely need a sticky base or a glitter glue even better for these glitters, but I think this makeup will turn out beautiful. The highlighter is so perfect. Uh, it gave me this nice wet look. I love it. And it dried down, doesn't feel sticky. Didn't remove my makeup. Thank you. Didn't remove my powder, my foundation, everything. I'm glad for that. And it gave me very nice wet look. So I do like this. Definitely want to check out the lighter shades and right now it's 1621 and i'm going to wear this for a couple of hours maybe two three hours just to see how the lipstick is going to wear uh but i like this i do really like it so see you soon so guys welcome back now it's around 8 17 and i had this makeup on for around four hours 
and uh, I do need to take off these eyelashes and wash my face because I'm tired and um, yeah let's just say four hours I've been eating soup and drinking a lot of uh, water so the lipstick went off down here but I can't feel it on my lips uh, it looks dry but it doesn't feel dry it doesn't feel you know sometimes when you put the dry mat matte liquid lipstick it feels like it's taking all moisture out of your lips this doesn't feel that it feels very com very comfortable i forgot that i have it on my lips i do like it that ate like i said i ate soup and i'm very tired i'm very tired and uh, yeah let's see the so I, lipstick i do like a lot I, I definitely want to try this other shade i think i'm going to apply it over this lipstick and see how easy it is to build it up or to apply it again reapply Yes, it's easy to reapply, it doesn't crumble, it doesn't flake, and I really like it. I really want to try their other shades that, that they have, um, and the eyes look like I just applied the makeup. I really, really like this palette. Where is it? And the highlighter is good. I think it's not too dark. I think it kind of is okay. It doesn't feel oily. I was scared afraid that it's going to be too oily or feel too oily because when I applied it on my hand yesterday when I took the photo for my Instagram it it looked beautiful but it felt very oily and it did when I had it on, on back on my hand but when I applied it on the face it dry, dried down really I really love this palette and definitely going to continue playing with it let me know if you want to see more ma makeup looks with this. Definitely try. I'm curious to try more of their products. I can't wait until they release eyelashes. And of course, more products. So guys, I'm so happy that I found out about this uh, Pract, Pract, Pract uh, brand. Uh, please check them out. I will put all the information down below. This is not sponsored. They, I bought all of the stuff myself. I just wanted to try a new brand and uh, see how good it is and tell you guys about the new cruelty free brand that is all about good affordable cruelty free makeup i really like that and guys thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and see you in my next video love you all Mwah. bye